my dear students hope all of you are doing well welcome to my youtube channel let us solve one more example of a shear force and bending moment for two dimensional frame so this is our example this is a cantilever frame one end is fixed another one is free right now let us move forward so first of all how many reactions we have we will calculate it right now for this fixed support we have three reactions vertical horizontal and moment right and this support is free right so at c and at free end we don't have any reaction right so let us determine reaction first so algebraic sum of forces in x direction zero so in x direction we have in right side positive left side negative right this is our assumed sign convention okay you can also assume left negative right positive right so starting with the first here h a acting right so positive phi is also acting in right side so it is also positive right so h a plus phi is equal to 0 so h a is equal to minus phi minus phi indicates that the force is acting in left side right so h a is equal to phi kilo newton right so we determine the first first reaction now moment about a that is equal to 0 now let us take the moment of all forces about a point right side moment is positive left side moment is negative right here minus m a y because it is itself a moment and it is acting in anti-clockwise direction right v a into 0 v a into 0 because it is passing through a point only h a into 0 again h is also passing through a point only so we don't have any distance of these two forces from a point as we are taking moment about a so v a and h a that is that don't have any distance from a point so multiply by 0 and multiply by 0 now phi into 2 phi into 2 about a it is clockwise so positive 9 into 1 9 into perpendicular distance is 1 and moment is clockwise so it is also positive is equal to 0 from this way we get moment at a that is equal to 19 kilonewton into meter right now next and positive sign indicates that our assumed sign convention was correct so it is acting in anti-clockwise direction right now let us start uh, let us determine the next reaction algebraic sum of forces about y0 so vertical reaction va upward is positive and downward is negative vertical reaction over here upward so positive minus 9 acting downwards so negative is equal to 0 so va is equal to 9 kilonewton so we determined all three reactions right now let us draw shear force and bending moment so first of all we have to draw free body diagram right let us see how to draw right these are our reactions right now consider this point right at this point we should have summation of all forces and moment that should be zero right let us determine all forces here we have up upwards 9 so i have to apply downwards 9 so 9 minus 9 that is equal to 0 right here we have left side 5 so i have to apply right side 5 right but here you see minus 5 over here and 5 over here so 5 minus 5 that is equal to 0 so no need to apply horizontal force over here right now let us let us see what about the moment right now see what about the moment of this force that is equal to phi into 4 clockwise right phi into 4 clockwise and moment of this force that is equal to phi into 2 anti-clockwise right phi into 2 anti-clockwise right and ma that is itself a moment so it is minus 19 so we have three moment phi into 1 clockwise minus 19 itself a moment phi into 2 anti-clockwise right so finally the summation of moment is minus 9 so we are getting anti-clockwise moment right but to do the summation of moment 0 we have to apply clockwise 9 to balance the anti-clockwise moment of 9 kilo newton at b we have to apply clockwise so then and then the summation of moment will be 0 right so i applied clockwise 9 kilo newton now if you check 
equilibrium condition over here at B, then each will be the zero. Sigma f x, sigma f y, and moment. Everything will be zero, right? By this way, you have to draw free body diagram, right? Now, so we determine reaction over here, and opposite to that, we have to apply over here downward line, upward line, clockwise line, anticlockwise line, right? Now let us check over here at C point, right? Nine upwards minus nine downwards, so no need to apply, right? Anticlockwise line, and you see nine into one clockwise over here, so. Summation of moment is also zero, right? So at C point we don't have to apply anything because this is this member is already in equilibrium, right? So this is about how to draw free body diagram, right? After drawing free body diagram, we have to uh, determine shear force, bending moment, and axial force diagram. Now you see, let us draw the axial force diagram, right? So here, see this is compression, right? So I am taking compression negative. So let us do the diagram. 9 kN over here and diagram is negative. Now over here we don't have any force. So no diagram over here. Right. So this is about actual force diagram. Now next let us do shear force diagram. Right. What about the forces? 5 kN over here, 5 kN over here, right? 9 kN here and 9 kN here, right? So here, left side, 5 kN. Again, from this point to this point, we don't have any force. So constant 5, again minus 5, right? And over at D, we have 0, right? And over here, we have 9 kN, right? So from this point, B point, to E point we don't have any force so horizontal line again minus 9 so it is 0 right 5 constant then again minus 5 9 constant again minus 9 right and the diagram is positive diagram right so here next let us draw bending moment right over here we have anti-clockwise moment of 19 kN over here we have clockwise moment of 9 kN right now how you to see the moment right here if you see look look from this side over here your left hand is and over here your right hand is right so left side anticlockwise is negative right left side anticlockwise is negative here in the right portion we have clockwise moment it is also negative right so both are negative moment right 19 and 9 so i don't over here from from in inside of this uh, particular frame right if i have positive then i will do it outside right now for this this is also left side anti-clockwise left side anti-clockwise is also negative okay so this one is minus 9 right so if you look at this diagram this diagram is negative diagram right like a cantilever beam we are also getting negative diagram in cantilever frame okay and for details of a sign convention you can see my lecture of sagging and hogging bending moment right uh, then you will get uh, more clear idea about this right so this is about how to plot shear force bending moment and actual force diagram of two dimensional frame okay my students if you have any query any questions kindly mail me and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching